so three barrels is already overkill. But what if we also load four bullets into each barrel? Okay, well first we're gonna need some propulsion. Now this syringe is one method I've been experimenting with. But today, I'm gonna improve on my crimping method of creating explosive bursts of air. Now my first pneumatic Lego dart gun crimped the pipe using this mechanism, and it worked pretty well. Hmm. And then my second iteration improved on this a lot. But today, we're gonna build an updated crimping mechanism that produces even stronger bursts of air. And I'm gonna deliver these blasts through three tanks and pipes to see just how many projectiles we can shoot, as well as what power we can get out of some oversized projectiles. I'm also gonna give it a massive storage tank. So let's start with our third gen pipe crimper. This will be the key to boosting our output. Now this pipe is slightly thicker than the standard LEGO pneumatic hosing, but even regular pneumatic hosing works great here. Now this lift arm will completely block the air through the pipe, even when it's under pressure. And if we build a basic locking mechanism, now it can hold the pipe closed while it's being pressurized. Then when we release the lock, it slams the tube open much quicker than bending the tube would. Once we add our barrel and secure it with some elastic bands, we can attach our LEGO pneumatic tank and then hook up a little compressor. Using this LEGO axle as our projectile, let's test out our mechanism. Good lord. Man, how about against this milk bottle? Nice. But this is only one bullet. And if we're gonna stand a chance against these moving targets, I reckon we're gonna need to shoot a few more. Sorry buddy, no surrendering today. But what if there are bigger threats to contend with? Well, we might need some heavy artillery. This video is sponsored by World of Tanks. If you're into wanton destruction like me, World of Tanks is the perfect game to scratch that itch. With fantastic physics simulations of each vehicle, projectile, and even the environment, this game for PC is free to play and is all about strategy, massive battles, and of course tanks. Lots of tanks. In fact, there are over 800 to choose from, making every battle customizable and epic. Now as a destruction nerd myself, after playing this for a while, I absolutely love the meticulous modeling and how each vehicle responds realistically to the thumping hits and explosions while I plow through forests and deserts and even cityscapes. It's pretty wild and commanding these steel beasts is an absolute blast, literally and figuratively. So join me and over 100 million others in World of Tanks by using the first link in the description to download the game. And if you're new to the battlefield, use the invite code COMBAT to get 7 days premium access, a hefty 250,000 credits to get you rolling, a premium Cromwell B tank, and 3 rental tanks for 10 battles each. And if you're a returning player, you'll get 3 days of premium access, a week's rental of a premium tank or 100,000 credits, and some camouflage. A big thanks to World of Tanks for sponsoring this video Whoops. and helping me to scale these ridiculous contraptions. Let's just hope my tanks can hold up to the challenge. So what sort of speed are these tanks going to be up against? Woof, 78 feet per second. That's a whopping 30% increase from my previous airgun mechanism. Man, how does it fare against some polystyrene? Hmm, she's deep in there. Ah, oh, there she is. Now, previously, I'll admit, I actually had a pretty hard time filming some of my shooting videos because of just how many takes it would take to actually hit my targets. Oh, uh, come on. Sometimes doing more than 20 of these burpees until finally making the shot. Finally. So I'm hoping that today's invention with our three barrels will make it three times easier to make my shots. However, I'm also going to up the ante by giving myself targets that don't actually want to get hit. This little guy is made with circuit cubes, Yoink. which has a tiny Bluetooth block that controls these small LEGO compatible motors. I'm not sponsored by the way, I just think they're really cool and you can make tiny inventions with them. Now, my second guy here is certainly bigger, but he's built to make a fuss when he's hit. You see, his armored walls can fall down. And then I've got these spring-loaded jobbies that shoot when they're pressed. So when I load them, then reset the armor. Now when I hit one of the sides of the tank, it'll blow out the opposite wall, acting like a sort of tank buster. 
But just before we get to that, I'm sure some of you are wondering, just how powerful can we make this gun if we dump an entire large air tank into the barrel? Eh, not amazing. Yeah, so clearly there's no point in just dumping an entire air tank into the gun for each shot. So instead, we'll just store air in the big one and use it to pressurize smaller tanks for each shot. This new crimping mechanism then will hold all three pipes closed at once. I gotta be honest, this took forever to settle on the mechanism that both creates a tight seal and doesn't require massive torque on the Lego pieces. I even broke some pieces trying to force all three pipes to close together. Next then, we'll need our handle and trigger assembly. This is nice and simple and does a great job holding the crimper closed against quite a lot of force. You'll see our lovely new crimper squishes the pipe closed by pressing the axle against it. These air tanks then are able to store just the right amount of compressed air for a good strong shot and we're attaching one tank per barrel. This pipe then will supply each of the tanks with air from the main tank. And these elastics will force the crimper open even quicker. So let's test it using this Lego compressor to pump up the three tanks. Hey, just the burst of air alone seems pretty decent. So let's make this mechanism able to actually shoot stuff. These lift arms will sandwich our three barrels between them. I just love the ominous look of this thing. It's really starting to look like a weird shotgun. Now we can introduce our shooting mechanism to the barrel assembly and strengthen it. Then this elastic is all we need to hold the barrels in place. and the hosing fits tightly inside. Finally then, this round piece will hold our tank, which is simply my leftover tonic bottle from a night of uh, gin sampling, with a Lego pneumatic T-junction squished through the cap. And secured with a zip tie for good measure. Now this bottle fits perfectly inside the round piece and is secured using an elastic band. Hey, now it's looking like a real air-powered shotgun. This valve will control the main tank and the air to the mini tanks. But let's start by simply hooking up our compressor directly to the mini tanks to test it out. <laughs> nice, I love that sound. I'm pleasantly surprised by how powerful the blast of air feels. And it even serves as a handy hairdryer. What a useful little contraption. Now after pumping up the air tank, this is all it's needed to continue firing shots. By the way, if you'd like to see more of these experiments with Lego and technology, please feel free to like or subscribe or join my Patreon to see behind the scenes footage of how I make these contraptions. Okay, let's give this gun some bullets. What does it do against some polystyrene? Eh, two out of three ain't bad. And at a bit more of a distance. Ooh, bouncy. All right, now some real targets. Ready when you are. Ready? Yeah. Well, I've got to say, shooting three rounds makes it way easier to hit my targets. Though, my accuracy still isn't amazing. But there are a couple of things that we can do. Starting with adding this laser dot. 
Now it's top mounted, so I need to aim a little higher on my targets. Hey, much better. But the second thing I can do is just go balls to the wall and just load a ton of bullets in here. Like 12 of them. <laughs> Damn, this thing is just like a real shotgun blast now. Now how about the spread from across the room? Yeah, well, good enough to completely demolish something around this size, I guess. And sure enough, this thing hits our targets pretty much every single time. It's almost impossible to miss. Oof, I'm amazed this guy is still in one piece. Poor dude who's seen better days. But what about our big boy? Well, even though he's moving faster, he's a much bigger and easier target. I'm just delighted these shotgun blasts are strong enough to blow out his walls. But I still think we can level this up to some armor piercing rounds. So let's add these slightly thicker barrels and load her up with some knitting needles. Seem like a smart idea. Oops. Okay, well, we've got a little bit of a thrown through. That's about two inches thick. That's some pretty nice penetration. And against our tank. Ooh, we've got some armor piercing rounds. Yeah, of course, these absolutely crush it. In fact, they do a great job against pretty much everything. And would you look at that grouping? Sorry, little dude. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Almost through. Now, my next question is, just how many shots can we get out of our main air tank? I'm pumping it up to 48 psi, and we'll see how many shots we can get. Now remember, each shot is actually filling all three feeder tanks each shot. So, shot one. Okay, 37 fps. We'll pop that on the graph. Shot 2 dropped to 32 FPS and punctured the can. Shot 3 jumped back up to 34 for some reason. And shot 4 my camera ran out of space so I missed it. Then shot 5 was 27 FPS. And then we just keep going. Not gonna lie, I was actually really surprised by this. Gosh, there's so many more shots than I expected. Okay, now it's less fun. So we get about 5 powerful shots and then a solid 10 more shots that are perfect for indoor plinking. But even after 20 shots, the needle still carries some reasonable energy. Whoops. With all three needles, of course, we can hit pretty much any target without even really trying. And to test the grouping from across the room. Not a bad little grouping. Yeah, not too bad actually. Now as much as I love the sheer destruction of these needles, I've got to say, my favourite use of this thing is in shotgun mode. 
It's just pure chaos. Whoa. Now, apart from having to pick up these damn things, they get absolutely everywhere. God, really? Now in the future, I'd like to experiment more with the syringe method of blasting air. But until then, check out World of Tanks in the description below, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!